Hey everyone, Joe back with Real Joe's Barbecue, and today we're making a dip on the smoker. We're a part of a big collaboration called Dip December 22. So if you search that hashtag, or there should be a playlist linked to this, and you'll see a bunch of videos of other people doing dips. So I'm gonna be making a creamy, cheesy corn dip on the smoker. I actually got this recipe from Anderson Smoke Show. If you haven't seen his channel, uh, if you're watching mine, you've probably seen his really. He has uh, great content. He's what got me into wanting to use the char griller originally. So definitely check his channel out. And guys, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers. When we get there, we're giving away this beautiful handmade cutting board, a meat stick thermometer, and some and some seasonings from Drunken Chef. So make sure you're subscribed, and once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we'll be doing a big giveaway for that. All right, let's get into the dip. All right, for this dip, I'm gonna be putting it in this pan in my smoker. I'm gonna be starting off with two cans of fire roasted corn. We're gonna use two packets of Philadelphia cream cheese, throw that in there. I'm just gonna cube this up just to make it melt a little bit easier. I'm gonna use some pepper jack cheese. I'm gonna use this whole block for eight ounces. Again, I'm just gonna cube it up, make it melt a little bit easier. So in the original video, he used Hotesia cheese, but I couldn't find that. I went to three different stores, could not find it. I Googled that feta is almost the same. So we're gonna see how it turns out. But if you can find the Hotesia in your area, you gotta definitely go with that. Adding six ounces of this. Calls for one cup of fresh cilantro. Dice this up. I don't know how much that was, but we'll call it a cup. Then we're gonna do one cup of sour cream. I'm just gonna use this squirt here. We'll see if how much about a cup is. We'll call that a cup. And then we need some garlic. I always cheat when it comes to garlic and I get this garlic paste. We'll call that good. Some tagine. I've never used this before. I'm real interested. I don't know how much of this to put in. So we're just gonna kind of go like this. Hopefully that's not too much. We'll find out. And then I am gonna add just some of this Mexican four cheese blend in. He says he uses about eight ounces usually. We'll call that about good. So we're gonna take this Throw it on the smoker. I have it running right now at about 275 degrees with a pork butt in there. Throw this in there, maybe take about an hour. I'll be mixing it up as we go and we'll see how it turns out. It's got our pork butt on there for another video. And then our cheese dip. Let's mix this all up. It's been about an hour in here. It's getting all melted. All right, everyone, it's been about an hour and a half and this dip is done. I mixed it a few times on the smoker. Wait till you see this. It looks awesome, it smells awesome. Cannot wait to try it. And there we are. Everything melted down nicely, everything combined nicely. Cheesy street corn dip. All, right, all that's left is give it a shot. Wow, that was really good. I was a little worried having to substitute that Gouda in, but that turned out amazing. I've always liked corn dips, and this just tastes, you can taste the smoke in it. It's not too spicy. Mm, that is amazing. I might like that more than smoke queso. All right, remember everyone, this is for Dip December 22. Make sure you go like everyone else's videos, make sure you watch those. And if you're not subscribed, hit that button. We're gonna hit a thousand subscribers to that big giveaway. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a good one.